Sayyidina Anas radiallahu ta'ala reports of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He passed by a woman. Listen to this narration, subhanAllah. He, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he passes by a woman who is crying by a grave. Now the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he walks past her and he tells her, fear Allah and be patient. And what did she say? She retorted. Retorted meaning that uh, she said in a harsh manner, be off for you have not been affected like me. She says this with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Now she didn't recognize that this was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Someone later on then told her that in fact the man who came past you and told you these things was in fact the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. So she immediately went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and she asked and begged the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for forgiveness for the way that she reacted at that very moment. And she said, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I did not recognize who you were. But listen to the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that patience, sabr, is when you are first struck by affliction. Understand what the Prophet sallallahu is saying. He says that you want to be a person of sabr. Sabr is that when you go through that affliction, when you have just gone through that hardship, the Prophet sallallahu is describing to you what patience is. Patience is the moment that that affliction happens. The moment that car accident happens. The moment that loss in business happens. You don't scream the house down or you don't swear and shout and break things and throw things. And then say, oh, I have sabr now. No. The Prophet ﷺ said that sabr is what? Patience is what? At the time when you are first struck by affliction. If we wish to overcome adversities, if we wish to overcome difficulties within our life, have patience, have sabr. This is what Allah tells us in the Quran. Allah mentions in Surah Baqarah. And we will surely test you with some fear and hunger and with paucity of wealth and lives and crops and give glad tidings to those who patiently endure. Allah gives glad tidings to the people who have sabr. Would you not want the glad tidings of Allah? All those situations that you think about where you feel as though your life is going to end. You're never going to get out of this hole which you think that you're stuck in. But what happens? One day you get through it. One day you overcome it. The only difference is, is how you handled it up until the time that you overcame it. Some people will spend that time in stress, anxiety, thinking what's going to happen. Constantly worrying. But one day they overcome it. The other person is satisfied with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Endures patience. So even though he's going through difficulty, he does not have the stress and anxiety of the other person. Why? Because he believes in the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He believes and he is waiting for the glad tidings of Allah as Allah mentions in the Quran al-Kareem and give glad tidings to those who patiently endure.